I am perfectly aware it is John you want to hear about, not me. But the only story involving John that I can tell, or the only one I'm prepared to tell, is this one, namely the story of my life and his part in it. Summertime, page 43. My name is J.M. Kotze. I live inside. 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 I was born in Cape Town, South Africa. No, 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 this does not look right. Look, let's try it another way. Let's take it to the text. I'm a woman of a uh, certain age, and my husband has departed this world, leaving the bulk of his considerable estate in a trust controlled by his brother. I've resolved to challenge this will, and I need help of a linguistic kind. I'm afraid I cannot help you. The wording is unambiguous, and there is only one way in which it can be read. <laughs> what about here, where it says, notwithstanding the aforesaid? Well, it says, if you can demonstrate financial distress, you are entitled to apply for, to the trust for support. Well, yes, but what about notwithstanding? Well, it means that what is stated in this clause is an exception to what has been stated before and takes precedence over it. Yes, but it also means that the trust cannot withstand my claim. What does withstand mean if it doesn't mean that? It is not a question of what withstand means. It is a question of what not withstanding the aforesaid means. You must take the phrase as a whole. <laughs> I'm hiring you not as a lawyer, but as an expert on English. The will is written in English, in English words. What do the words mean? What does notwithstanding mean? The way I understand the clause, if I make a claim, then no one, including my brother-in-law, can withstand it. I mean, otherwise, what's the point of using the word? Do you see what I mean? I see what you mean. Once he has delivered his report, his expert report on the meaning of the English words, including the word notwithstanding, he will receive his fee. He delivers no report. He foregoes the money that is owed him. Features of his character that emerge from the story. A, integrity. He declines to read the will as she wants him to. B. Naivete. He misses the chance to make some money. Summertime, page 12. What do J.M. Coetzee's words mean to you? Well, I think that for Coetzee, language is both a sign of imprisonment and enslavement of the individual, as well as the tool that must be used to struggle against that imprisonment. They, they, they mean so much that, that, that I can't even begin to say, so the best thing to say is little enough, almost nothing. When Kutsi is pithy and insistent, both his language and his narrative evoke for me an emotional landscape of extraordinary richness, one that is knowingly, painfully, and amusingly suspended. 
This is not so simple as the idea that language is manipulated to create different realities, or used as a tool to structure what we call reality. It's not even about how language can never express the self, because merely by verbalizing, we falsify before we are subject to the misinterpretation of others. As a tool of self-consciousness, language separates rather than unifies. His words relentlessly address the darkest extremes in human experience and behavior. He makes reading feel like a form of suffering or an excruciating call to face our own disgrace. Jam Corsi has gotten under my skin. They told me from the beginning that he lived inside. Now I know. He lives inside his words, inside all of them at once, and inside each one of them. And his words have become part of my story. Oh, 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 Oh,